Hi everyone, welcome to today's live talk. I am going to give this a second or so to load because I think my internet's a little bit slow, so I want to be able to see your comments and see who's online, who's saying hello, all of that good stuff. Um, happy to be with you guys today. I am so happy I'm using my office again which doesn't seem like a big deal, but for the last three months, I have not been able to sit up upright in a chair because of my fractured spine. But today I'm able to, so I'm super happy and I'm in my office again and I have my nice view behind me. I put it this way so that you guys have the nice view. I have the boring view because I get to see the rest of the office, but I thought it's better if you guys see, you know, the nice stuff behind me, although it's a bit dark because it's night time now. Guys, hi Heba from Egypt. Hi Monique, where are you in the world? Hi Teresa from Colorado. Great to see you guys. So welcome to today's live, live talk. Shake up your reality. Um, I have just, well, a few days ago, we finished uh, doing a COP. Uh, in Noosa, in Australia, live in person. Simone Millicis was facilitating and it was so wonderful and nice to be doing a live class again. I'm so grateful. It was such a different space um, being able to run access bars, access body processes and be there obviously live in the class. And one thing that really came up for me was this topic of shaking up your reality because I noticed that there were certain areas in my life where I'd become a bit complacent and I was just kind of used to things being a certain way. And one example of that was my back. So for those of you who don't know, and I know many of you will know, three months ago, I slipped on some sand, very silly, fell backwards and I fractured my spine in two different places. And so I've been, you know, doing a lot of lying down and healing. Um, and as I was saying at the beginning, today's the first day that I'm in my office again and able to sit upright. So I'm so happy. And this has a lot to do with the different choices that I made at this Choice of Possibilities class at the weekend. Because what I realized was that being at this class, I was going to be sitting up for three days straight. And my back was already a little bit sore from the week. I'd just been, you know, probably getting a bit carried away and doing things like twisting a little bit too much, carrying things that I shouldn't really be carrying, but you know, I get bored, I wanna do stuff. Um, and so I'd started thinking, okay, I'm gonna be sitting down. Oh, my back is sore. And the questions that I was asking was like, okay, so what do I need to do to kind of make my back feel better or to sit in a way that's comfortable? But I noticed that every single question that I was asking came from a space of, what do I do with this problem to make it easier? which actually is not a question. It is a conclusion that there is a problem and I need to make it easier. So I looked at that for a second and I thought, wow, if I was truly in allowance of this here and I had absolutely no fixed point of view about what this was, I wonder what could show up. Now, a huge gift during the COP Choice of Possibilities class two was that the amazing Christopher Hughes did an intro class one of the nights um, about allowance. So I highly recommend that you check out all of his stuff. Go to his uh, page on the access site, Christopher Hughes. And Simone Millicis is the one who was doing the COP. And anyway, he was talking there about allowance. And allowance is something that we talk about quite a lot in access. And, you know, I've been doing access for a while. So I was kind of like, really, I need to look at this again. Not because I didn't want to look at it, but because I was like, I can't believe I'm still doing this, you know, but you get it when you get it. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So I was there and I was like, wow, I am not in allowance of my back at all. Why and how did I know this? Because what I was doing was I was tolerating it and I was just accepting what is. So there's a big difference between allowance and tolerance or acceptance. Acceptance and tolerance is you, you're just like, okay, this is a situation, whatever, I'll just deal with it. But you've decided that that's the way it is. You're no longer in question and somewhere you're aligning and agreeing with the problem or resisting and reacting to it, which I definitely was. I was waking up and I was like, oh, my back is sore. Okay, who do I need to call? The physio, the osteo, the massage therapist, the ortho who is incredible by the way um 
but I wasn't really asking my body and I wasn't functioning from a space of true question. Now, if I had been an allowance, I could have woken up, felt what was going on with my back and said to myself, okay, how interesting, what an interesting point of view that this is. And then I would have gone into question like body, what's going on? What do you require? What are you showing me? Now, this very simple shift in perspective from jumping to the conclusion that something's wrong and trying to fix it to actually truly looking at every situation that shows up as interesting made it so that for the next for the three days of the COP class I was able to sit up pretty much the whole time in a chair and the whole time just checking with my body like hey body are you okay are you good do you require anything occasionally I needed to kind of stand up and move around a bit but then I could sit back down it made it so that I could sit up for three days straight without being sore at all, not during, not after. And in the last couple of days, I've been far more mobile than I have been before and I have, and far more mobile than I was in the week leading up to the class. Now, why am I saying this? Because it is so interesting to me how we tend to have this point of view that if we want to like really change our reality, we have to have a problem. And if we don't have a problem, we'll let things continue. But what my back showed me this weekend was, what if every single day could be greater than yesterday? Just because, just because you can, for no other reason. Doesn't need to be to get a result, doesn't need to be to fix anything, doesn't need to be um, because of anything other than what if you did wake up and every day was more ease than yesterday, was more joyful than yesterday and had a sense of like exuberance of living. And to me, that really is what shaking up your reality is all about. It's about the choice that you can make every day to shake the cobwebs from your reality, those places where you're getting a little bit too used to things the way that they are. Not that that's bad, but what would it take to have everything grow and expand every day? And in order to have that, you have to be willing for things to change constantly. You know, things aren't going to grow and expand if you want things to stay the same. So I recognize that, okay, I was kind of keeping things in a conclusion with my back, but what if every day it could actually get greater, not from trying to fix it, but from being truly in allowance and from asking the question from this sense of curiosity of truly what are the infinite possibilities here? If I didn't have this fixed point of view that my back feeling this way was bad or it meant that something was wrong or that I was going backwards in the healing process. If I didn't conclude any of those things, what would it be truly? And many of the times that my back was doing that, it was just my body telling me I needed to shift position or stand up or do something slightly different. And when I followed that, my body self-corrected and everything was absolutely fine. There were no aches and pains. So I wanted to talk about that today because what if shaking up your reality doesn't mean that you need to lose anything. How much are we told that if we are desiring change that we have to lose? We've got to lose where we are. We've got to lose a person. We'll probably lose a relationship. We'll lose the job that we have. We'll lose anything, like whatever that may be for you. What if it's actually the opposite? What if you have absolutely everything to gain and everything to receive from allowing yourself to be in total allowance of what's occurring in your life and still ask for more not because you need to not because you want to fix anything but because it's just fun and that for me I know has been a huge huge learning curve because I am somebody who loves to work I really love it like I just love what I do so I work on my businesses on different projects and I just adore it and I sometimes and by sometimes I mean about 80 to 90% of the time, I forget to include myself in that. And I forget to ask, okay, what would be fun and what would be joyful today? Which might be going to the beach for half an hour, having a walk, going to Pilates class, who knows? Um, so in that, what if by you shaking up your reality, you're also adding to it a lot more of the things that nurture you and your life. So start to notice any of those places where you are going automatically to, this is how the situation is and how can I fix it? Just notice, recognize when you do that and cognitively make the effort to say to yourself, okay, well, that's interesting. Interesting that I would choose that. What an interesting point of view. Okay, so you wanna to go to interesting point of view to get you to the allowance. And then once you've done that and some of that charges off so that you're not so stuck in that fixed point of view, 
ask, so what are the infinite possibilities here? What else is possible here that I haven't considered? And be willing to be really present when you're asking that question, not just kind of like, hey, waiter, can I order my lunch? And what else is possible, you know, but really like be there with yourself. It takes like 10 seconds. Okay, so truly what is possible here that I haven't considered? And see what begins to shift and what starts to show up. So hopefully this video has been a contribution to you guys. Um, thank you so much for being on from Switzerland, Bucharest, Netherlands, Colorado, Turkey, Egypt. I love seeing you guys here. If you've liked this video, please hit like and share. Um, and I will see you guys next week at the same time. And one more thing is I have a foundation class starting tomorrow and there's still time to join, still time to hop on. So the foundational tools of access really are the foundational tools of everything. They allow you to create a completely different foundation from which to build your life on one of possibilities and expansion and joy and fun and ease rather than limitation, difficulty, problem, trauma, drama. So um, if you'd like to join, you can still sign up and I look forward to seeing you guys either online next week or in class. Oh, thank you so much. Iram just put the link there. Thank you. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.